Hello guys and welcome to Marvel Spider-Man part 30 of Marvel Spider-Man. In this episode we're going to be doing the main story mission called Out of the Frying Pan. Uh, this main mission is extremely significant to the storyline. Uh, so significant in fact that I thought this main mission deserved its own episode. Uh, the reason this mission is significant is because it marks the end of Act 2 of the game. So there are three acts in the game, this marks the end of Act 2 of the game. It's nice, and it's a nice coincidence that this mission lined up with part 30 of our series. I didn't even mean for that to happen, it just worked out that way. So that's pretty cool, and yeah, that's nice. So without further ado, let's get started with this main mission. I will read you the synopsis. Um, the truck carrying Devil's Breath has been attacked. Not good. Alright, out of the frying pan. Without further ado, let's get started. 1800 meters. Time to go. Missed a call from Doc. Hope he's okay. Peter, I just wanted to mark the moment, I suppose. The closing of one chapter in life and the beginning of the next. I couldn't have reached this point without you. And it's my hope that the next phase will only strengthen our partnership and friendship as the world finally sees our work bear fruit. Here's to the future. <sighs> He sounds less paranoid than before. Downright hopeful. I hope that means good things are coming. We could all use that. We could all use that indeed. Alright. Less than a thousand meters now. The only reason I'm swinging is because of messages we might get from Yuri, Doc, or... Maybe even our good friend Jameson, our number one fan. Alright, just 250 meters to go now. We are here for the most significant mission we have done so far. Let's start it. This episode will be a little will be shorter than most episodes in the series. Probably the shortest one actually, but this mission is action packed, so don't you worry. A lot will happen in those I would say 20, 25 minutes. Devil's Breath is gone, but we got even bigger problems. Rikers? We have to hurry. Hop on. Rikers is the prison, it I think. It was a coordinated attack. Must have been planned from the outside. Yes, it is. Every cell block is breached. We're minutes away from every prisoner and Rikers walking right up Fifth Avenue. What about the raft? Should be okay. It's a supermax facility. Better security and a separate power grid. Good. What about the Devil's Breath? Sable's handling it. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? Uh-oh. Should've worn your seatbelt. Whoa, okay. What are we doing? Beating them up? Yes. I'm on it. Spider-Man! Hey, we can forget this ever happened. 
a lot of people here. Okay, it reminds me of the. Nice. I still see a few more out in the yard. Who thought it was a good idea to bring rockets into a prison? You know the GTA Online mission. This is Sergeant Hansen. Anyone on this channel? This is Captain Watanabe. Where are you? Electrical access. Rooftop near cell block D. Trying to restore power. Got you with the chopper? Affirmative. What happened here? No idea. The power went out. Then all hell broke loose. All tight. We'll get you as soon as we can. Yeah, you know the, the GTA Online mission where you have to make a, help a prisoner escape from the penitentiary? Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. Somewhat. Although we're not escaping. We are a good guy in this. We're not helping someone escape. We are preventing them from escaping. Guys, someone's trapped behind that door. Come on, man. I know somebody's out there. They're almost on top of me. Get me out of here. Okay, <sighs> they're coming. Where is everybody? They're attacking my car. See, when I told you this mission is action packed, I wasn't lying. Look at all this chaos. Help the warden. I'll keep working on getting the power restored. Right, I'm on it. All right, let's beat these guys up. Hey, warden, come on out. Ah, uh, let's get a web bomb in. Try an impact weapon. He's gone. Use the finisher on the brute. And just a small people to go now, so they're easy to do. That might be the realest thing Spider-Man has ever said. It could always get worse. There's a sniper aiming at us. Get a sniper because he can do a lot of damage. Just a couple more. There we go. They're stealing a chopper. <laughs> the chaos never ends. Spam square. Casually just gonna pull a chopper. Day in the life of Spider Man. License and registration, please. Okay, looks like things are somewhat under control. I thought you said the raft was secure. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Let's hope not. 
But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Ah! Whoa. Oh yeah, there's the right because that's all of the villains as well, doesn't it? Hold on! Yeah, that makes sense. It's a prison, and it's basically prison break. So, right, because will contain all of the villains, fictitious villains as well, like the ones in. You okay? Spider-Man. Yeah. Like him, for example. Welcome to the park. Electro. Just in time for the fight. Looks like we made parole, boys. Electro, why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cell and lock the door behind you, okay? Please? They're doing a lot of damage. Guess spider bro. That everyone okay yeah that is everyone spider bro helped us out a uh, big time that um, that doesn't sound good let's go through here <laughs> Jesus oh, hi, Rhino. another surprise, another villain we have electro now we have Rhino Me? Just trapped in a prison with every criminal I've put away. <laughs> this is too good to be true. Okay, so Scorpion, Scorpion can as you well. Hold on a minute. I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. We have Electro, Rhino, and Scorpion. Holy Trinity, for example. Not really. Electro, Rhino, and now Scorpion are all on the loose. What's going on in the rest of the prison? Camera system's almost up. I'll give you a hit rep soon. Okay, I'll keep tracking Electro. Um, okay, let's use trip mine maybe. Yeah, hey, I don't. I'm not sure if it'll work, but let's use one over there. Try and lure him over here. Ah, oh, it's not gonna work. Ah, screw it. The trip mine. Ah, uh, people over here. Sleep it off. All right, through here. Whoa! Come on, Spider-Man. I thought this was a chase. Gotta stop this guy. Uh, I think he went up here. Yep. You can't stop me. I'm not flat as it's still dry. Tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! Absolute destruction. Mayhem. Gotcha! <laughs> Vulture! Long time no see! We're going to have so much fun! Sorry, no time to talk! No! I failed to stop it. Really? I thought we were in the middle of a cutscene there. That's weird. Time to talk. 
Okay. I didn't even realize, that's weird. Okay, I got the security cameras back online. How's it look? Well, it looks like the entire population of the raft has escaped. Including Martin Lee. That makes five of your worst enemies that are now on the loose. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you were serious. I am serious. I have to go. Some of them are heading into the city. This is Ouch. You know when the cutscene is so clear that... Sorry, when the gameplay is so clear that you can't tell you're out of a cutscene. That's basically what happened to me. Wow, okay. So he avoided every single block and went through the tiniest of gaps. Only Spider-Man can do that. That's why we love him. Jesus. No, ouch. Electro, stop! All right. How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. That, I believe, is Scorpion. This is Rhino. Martin Lee as well, look, mighty word, alright. Basically a gangbang out here. That will be the best way to describe it. Vulgar, sure, but accurate. Said not to kill him. Good idea. In fact, we don't have to do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to. Getting electrocuted. I uh, my S is. Oh my God, Octavius! First and final His personality certainly been meddled, hasn't it? Jesus. So who do we have? Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go! Jesus. Yeah, what a mission that was. We're not even done yet, but yeah, so far. Wow, okay. We get a trophy called the Six Assemble. That is story related. It's unmissable. So don't worry about it. You will get it if you play the game. Completing Act 2, basically. Don't let yourself go auto, um, just take the thing off and he can still fix you man, don't do this. Uh, Osborne rally, he's gonna get pissed because he doesn't like Osborne. All these years, all these lies. It's over Norman. Time to give them the truth. Oh my god, devil's breath. 
Devil's Breath has been released. Ah, cheeky bastard, got himself a gas mask while everyone else suffers. What is it with old white men having a midlife crisis and then suddenly turning towards crime? It happened in Breaking Bad, it's happened here as well. <laughs> what is up then? If you have a white husband who is 50, year old, 50 years old, I'm speaking to the wives, please take care of him bro, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want something like this happening to me. Oh god. Anyway, yeah, 24 hours later. <coughs> A flash forward. Oh shit. You okay? Yeah, fine. Can you, uh, can you pass us out for me? Sure. She's she coughing blood. Yeah, that's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Sable International, who maintain tight security over all transit points. Throughout the city, police and Sable agents continue to battle with Rikers and Raft escapees. Meanwhile, Mayor Osborne has gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness, and branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence, and many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame, since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret, unregulated Oscorp laboratory here in Manhattan. Mayor Osborne insists that Oscorp Turn it off. NDC on an anti-serum, but has not provided any further evidence to support this claim. Truth hurts, doesn't it, Norman? Just deal with it. That was eventful. Um, a lot to ponder over. Jesus Christ. I mean, they said this game was well made, but... Dr. Even... Octavius. Why? How did I let this happen? It's not your fault. I just got a call from the hospital. They said you went AWOL. I need to get back to work. The doctor said you still have 14 broken bones. Which means I have 192 non-broken ones. Thanks for taking care of me, by the way. The hard part was keeping you hidden from Sables. They branded you a priority target, you know. I humbly accept the honor. What is happening to our city, Yuri? I don't know. Feels like the end of the world. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Quarantine complete. 4,000 XP earned. What a mission. Level 42 now, health increase plus 10. Skill points earned I'm as here well. To help. Good. There's gangs of escaped prisoners banding together and taking over entire city blocks. Looting, strong arming local residents, you name it. I'll take care of them. What else you got? The mayor told Silver Sable to do whatever it takes to find Lee and Octavius. So she's just rounding people up indiscriminately, holding them captive in bases around the city. I've even heard rumors of enhanced interrogation tactics. You mean torture? <sighs> Don't worry. I'm on it. This is our city, Yuri. It's time we take it back. Great. My men are tracking the supervillains. I'll update you when we make progress. For now, do your best to stabilize the city. Okay, so complete Sable outposts and prisoner camps to earn base tokens. Uh, what that means is now we can actually 100% complete the districts because the three things that were locked earlier were prisoner camps, uh, this, uh, prisoner crimes, we haven't got any of the five, and Sable crimes. So in every district those would have unlocked and we can actually 100% complete all districts now. Which is good. Uh, I'm still in shock. Shock and awe basically of what mission we just witnessed. Yeah, that was... I, You know when someone says something is good? I don't know if it's just me, but I'm reluctant to believe them. Like, I'll agree it's good, but I, you, I'm still somewhat skeptical because I consider their taste to be basic, but nah. People said this game is good. It is good. 
I can speak from personal experience. Uh, we have unlocked a new skill. Uh, sure, let's get blast off and complete this whole thread basically. And uh, now we only need four more. They're not four more because we need to get those two as well. So yeah, six more maybe. Not sure how much that costs. Two, two, yeah, six more. All right, the next mission is not available yet. Uh, let me look at the characters. We met quite a few new ones, so I want to see if they're going to be on here. Yeah, so what happened? A lot of things happened in that mission. So, uh, wait, what happened? Uh, basically, everyone in Raft escaped. Wait, was it the Raft or Rikers? Basically, everyone in the prison just escaped. Uh, Spider-Man's old foes have all escaped as well. The ones that wreak havoc across the city. Uh, you saw small footage of uh, Aunt May coughing some blood as well. So that's concerning. Otto is just joined the dark side. Yeah, a lot of shit has just happened in that uh, mission. That's why I wanted to make this mission its own episode because Jesus Christ uh, I'll need some time to process this as I'm sure you will as well oh right yeah we have we do have some new characters all right Mac Gargan slash Scorpion he is six foot three 220 pounds 35 years old from <laughs> Yonkers <laughs> this reminds me of Honkers anyway yeah Yonkers New York his occupation is a gun for hire I think I think that means assassin assassin someone let me know he, he doesn't have uh, any aliases I guess Scorpion is his alias Alexei Sisevich it's all Rhino he is 7 feet 5 Jesus he's pretty tall he weighs 710 pounds BMI is not too great 41 years old place of birth Irkutsk I probably butchered that but yeah Irkutsk Russia his occupation is an ex-mob enforcer. His alias is... His alias, you should say, is Santa Claus. Max Dillon, slash Electro. 5'11", 165 pounds. 39 years old from Endicott, or Endicott, New York. His occupation, well, he's a criminal, professional criminal. Alias is Sparky. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. If you got, have you guys played Clash Royale? Sparky is my favorite card to use on there. <laughs> Just get the electric wizard to take him out. Yeah, it works in Clash Royale. I'm not sure it'll work on here though. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Adrian Toombs or Vulture. 5'11 as well. 175 pounds, 76 years old. Bro, go to your old age, old age home, bro. What are you doing? Vulture, man. Okay. His place of birth is Staten Island, New York City. Occupation, former electronics engineer, no aliases. Mr. Negative, we've already seen him, Martin Lee, Dr. Octopus. Yeah, sad about him. Yeah, sad about him. 5'9", 245 pounds, 63 years old. Sh his place of birth is Schenectady. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Just say, let's just say New York. He's a criminal mastermind. Alias this is Doc Oc, Octo, Otto Octavius. Yes, yeah, so. And yeah, Taskmaster, luckily we've already taken him out. Otherwise, that would have been. He wouldn't have been part of them, but that would have been another bad person in the game, wouldn't it? So, yeah, it's good that we took Taskmaster out in the last episode. Yep, yeah, but we got the trophy. I think it was called. Uh, the six assemble is that what it was called um yeah the trophy was called the six assemble and it was called that because these six enemies have now teamed up and assembled basically so scorpion rhino electro vulture martin lee and octopus or doc basically they've all teamed up six against one yeah, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge, but Act 3 is going to be an exciting finish. I can tell you right now. All right. Let me take a look on the map. Out of chaos. You can see smoke everywhere. 
but yeah I'm going to wrap that episode up there, guys, because so much happened in that episode and I need some time to process it. So that is everything for this episode, guys. A short but sweet one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Ta-da. I'll see you next time.